Well, this Sunday, I am so excited because we are jumping into a brand new series through the New Testament letter of Romans, a letter all about the good news of Jesus, a letter all about the gospel, about knowing the gospel and applying the gospel in our daily lives. And with all the different things going on in the life of our church, whether we're talking about potentially launching a food bank at some point this year, and with all the different things going on in our personal daily lives, all the different distractions and challenges that I know many of us face, I think it's so important, critical, that we come back to the good news of Jesus, that we grow in gospel clarity and ensure that the gospel is increasingly forming all of our thoughts and words and actions. And so that's why we're going to spend some time in this amazing letter, the letter of Romans. This Sunday, we're going to be jumping in by looking at the first 17 verses in the book of Romans, Romans 1 verses 1 through to 17. We're also going to look at parts of Romans 16. would encourage you to give those verses a read in advance of Sunday if you've got some time. And more than anything, just want to encourage you to come on Sunday, to come with an open mind and an open heart, ready to receive from God as we open God's Word together. Braden and the band are going to be leading us in worship this Sunday. We're having communion as well. It's going to be a beautiful time experiencing the presence of Jesus together as a church community. And I still hope to see you then. 10.30 a.m. at St. Effects High School. It's going to be a great time.